Hi, hi, welcome, welcome. Uh, it's been a while since we've connected with you and we just wanted to share something that God's been putting on our hearts. So um, I hope that you enjoy this, but I know that it will empower you and it will uh, uh, really take you into a deeper place with the love of Jesus Christ, which is what he wants. So, um, yeah, so this scripture says, Ephesians 3, 16 and 17. You want to read that? Yeah. It says, I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you being rooted and established in love. You know, one of the one of the things I see a lot of believers doing um, that that gets no results when it comes to what God wants to do in their lives and how to overcome situations and circumstances in their lives is that they would they'll pray and and wait for God to do something, you know, wait for God to move. And there's there's times where he'll do that, but but if you really want to get results from God, you got to understand that faith is it's it's, it's an moving. action. It's an action, right? <laughs> it's moving. It, it's a verb and and faith without works is dead. And really in the Hebrew, that word faith, and oftentimes more than not, and, and most times that means faith into, faith into. So what does that mean? It means that you're moving into God's presence. You're moving into the belief that you have. You're moving towards what you're, you're connecting to God for and his spirit. You're moving into, into that place and that position so uh i uh, you know a, a, a good example is what do you think is a good example well what comes to mind for me i don't know that this is not an example but whatever you believe you move into that direction whatever it is whether it's in god or other things it causes you to move what your belief is causes you to move in that direction right yeah so so you so whatever you believe in you invest in right and it makes you move. And it makes you move. So if you believe there's money in the bank, you're going to go and make certain uh, physical actions that are going are gonna to take the money out of the bank so that you could either invest in that money. You know, if you, if you really truly believe that Jesus is who he says he is, then you're, gonna, you're going to move into those places that are going to allow him to be who you believe that he is so you invest in him right it's not just okay god uh heal me and then you sit around and you eat the same foods or 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 you just wait for a healing and don't do anything you don't exercise to get healthier or you don't eat right to get healthier or you don't take the medicine that you need to get healthier you know uh you, you just sit around and wait well that's not conducive to what god wants us to do he wants us to move in the places of faith concerning him, right? To move the miracles and to, 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 to release the miracles that we need in our lives. Um, one of the things that, that uh, I normally uh, see is when we do move in those areas, you know, in faith. So uh, we just went through a 21-day fast, mm -hmm. and, you know, we had the faith to complete a 21 day fast, right? And God God moved in that 21 day fast. Yeah. He spoke to us, he released some things to us, he provided some things for us. And so we see God really expand where he says he loves us, he provides for us, right? Yeah. Where he says he loves us, we feel that love. So we want an encounter with him, right? We want an encounter with him if we want an encounter with him, well, we just don't sit and wait for him to come because has he ever come before with, without some type of getting closer to him, moving towards him, doing some things that works so that we can feel his presence, so that we can have a, a, a vision, so that we can have a, a, a infilling, so we can be empowered. See, it says be empowered in his love, yeah. right? Be established in his love. When you're established, it means that you are in that realm of establishment and you're 
doing what that realm needs for you to do to be a, a, a place of, of reality, right? Is there anything you wanted to add to that? No, that's good. So, so just to give you some quick notes, if you want to see God and you want to encounter Jesus, he's waiting for us. He loves you so much that he developed a way for you to have encounters with him. You know, he died on the cross for you. He sent his only begotten son. He, 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 he came here in the flesh, and he, he, he moved around in the flesh and, and did some things. he's pursuing you every single day in everything. He's pursuing every single person that he's ever created. He did some things, right? He showed us how to live, how to love. He showed us how to act. Yeah. He teaches us through the Bible what, 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 what to believe, right? To have the transformation of our minds so that we could start having encounters with him. And, and if, we don't, if we don't activate the faith that we have, we don't invest in what we believe and what we're believing for. So it's easy to say, I believe in this, right. but then never do anything to right. obtain it. If you actually believe it, there will be a change. You will start moving in a different way. Um, that belief on the inside of you is manifested on the outside. It's manifested exactly. That's yeah. good. It's manifested on the outside. There's 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 some steps that we take. Right? You'll start moving right. in different ways than you have before, and it'll show that belief that's on the inside of you. You'll it'll be seen on the outside by your actions. So he loves you. He went. He, he took your sins to hell. I mean, he did. Mm -hmm. He did everything. All he's doing is he's he created a way for us to have that 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 valve of release. You know, we hold on to the valve. If we turn it, the release and the outpouring will come. And if, we, and if we don't turn it and it stays shut, it will, it, it will never come. But it's on you and me to take the next steps and do what we have to do to encounter the miracles of God that we're waiting for. If we don't, it's just never going to happen. You know, we'll be like the, the, the atheist who, you know, to them they believe there's no God because to them there is no God because they never saw him, they never, they never experienced him. We're not, you're not far off from that. Even if you say you believe in God, you're not far off from it because you're not doing anything to encounter God. But you have to be, you have to pursue God. Listen, God is, loves you. He pursues you. He woos you into His presence. He's already giving you all kinds of of of, of, of um, signals and 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 signs and wonders for you to know that He's there. Uh, you know. So if you do believe it, there'll be there'll be an action and a faith into 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 Him to release an encounter of love and an encounter of empowerment uh, with Him. Amen. Anything else? No. That's so, good. yeah, we wanted to share that with you because uh, it's very important that we start to activate. You know, if you're at home, just say activate. It's activate. very important that you, we start activating his power and his presence so we can have the encounters that we need to take what he has planned and purpose. You know that God has planned and purpose something for you and for me. And if we don't start uh, doing and taking the steps that it takes to get to, the, to, 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 the, to his plan and his purposes, and his desires and his and his uh, uh, destiny for our lives, we're just never going to experience that. And for far too many years, the church has been experiencing that, and that's why we've lost so much of uh, influence in America and in, and in all over the world. To be honest with you, but God is doing something big, and I want you to connect to what God is doing. And what God does in your life is always big. It's always big. Oh, remember that. And we want to reach that and be victorious in that and have. Uh, uh, everything available to us, all the resources, and utilize them because we have them all to overcome the devil and his attacks on our lives and our family's lives. So we just wanted to share that with you. Again, that scripture was Ephesians 3, 16 and 17. And don't forget, faith into. Invest yes. in what you believe in. We love you. God bless you. And then uh, we'll see you uh, soon. Bye.